Welsh pianist Hugh Warren has had a 25-year love affair with the music of the utterly incomparable Brazilian composer Hermeto Pascual. Hermeto has been featured many times on this show over the years, both in concert... His 2005 Jazz Cafe show, I think for me, was one of the gigs of the decade, but also having his praises sung by a host of jazz musicians. His compositions, sort of joyous and complex at the same time, seem to really resonate with jazz players in a way that few other non-jazz writers do. Miles Davis fell under his spell in the 1970s, signed him up to his band and played two of his tunes on the Live Evil LP. Well, Hugh, a former winner of the Jazz on 3 Award for Innovation and someone whose projects are always conceptually as well as musically thought through, has now turned his attentions to celebrating his love of Pascal's wonders. His new CD, to be released later this year and uh, featured on this show last week, is made up exclusively of tunes either written by or inspired by Hermeto. And last month, that at Turner Sims Concert Hall in Southampton, Hugh put together a special one-off band to explore the music further. With him on that night were special guests Ian Ballamy, a saxophonist who himself is a major Pasquale fan and also has played with the Brazilian maestro, and the Italian singer Maria Pia De Vito. The group was completed by Hugh's regular rhythm section of Dudley Phillips on bass and Martin France on drums. You can hear a short interview with Hugh in the break in the middle of this gig, but for now, here they are on the stage of the Turner Sims Concert at Hall in Southampton, Hugh Warren and his group celebrating Hermeto Pascual.
Thank you, Maria Pia de Vito. Next, we'd like to play um, a really beautiful ballad by Ermeto. Um, this is a tune called Santa Caterina. Saint Catherine, as someone said in English earlier on. Um, and Maria's written some very nice words in Neapolitan to, um, to go along with it. Uh, maybe you should tell them what they're about. Oh, that's a little difficult. Um, <laughs> I'm using <laughs> some uh, expressions from, from Napoli. They use the same word for many different meanings. So they say tanto to say much, very much. Tantillo to say a little bit of that much. And they say poco to say a little. Pucurillo to say a little of that little. But tanto tanto means right now. And if you feel yourself like you're tantillo, it means that you feel yourself a little bad, you know? So. It's all about this. It's all about giving and having back. And if you, if you give just tantillo because you're scared, you get tantillo back. So better think about it. <laughs> OK.
I think if someone told me I had half an hour left to live and I could only listen to one tune, that would be very high on the list of tunes I'd want to listen to. Maria Pia De Vito. Ian Bellamy. Martin France. And Dudley Phillips. I think if someone told me I had half an hour left to live and I could only listen to one tune, that would be very high on the list of tunes I'd want to listen to. Uh, next we're going to play... Uh, Hermeto comes up with these very interesting concepts, ideas on music sometimes. And one, one of the things he says, because in his, in his concerts, I don't know if any, have any of you ever seen him or heard his music? Yeah, so in his, in his concerts he uses a lot of, on his records he uses a lot of different sounds and uh, sounds of nature, sounds of live pigs and all kinds of wonderful things. And uh, one of the things that he said is that uh, um, all is sound, all sound is music which basically means anything's up for grabs and it's music, which is very cool, don't you think? So uh, this is a little tribute to that statement and it's just called All Is Sound. <laughs> We're going to finish this first half of the concert uh, with a, a, another piece by Hermeto. Uh, but before we do, please say uh, thank you again. Maria Pia De Vito.
Ian Barney. Martin France. Dudley Phillips. And Hugh Warren. Thank you. This is a piece called Jigway.
Thank you. Maria Piedrito, Ian Bellamy, Martin Thorne, Stephanie Phillips, Hugh Warren. We'll be back after the break. Thank you. Some suitably summery and happy music from Hugh Warren and his group playing at the Turner Sims Concert Hall in Southampton, celebrating the music of the great Brazilian composer Hermeto Pascual. Hugh was on piano, Dudley Phillips bass, Ian Bellamy saxophone, Martin France drums, and Maria Pia De Vito is the vocalist. Hugh is on the line now from North Wales. Hi there, Hugh. Hi, Jess. It's a lovely gig, Hugh. I mean, it's a, it's such a kind of an uplifting listen. I, I can't help but uh, think, listening to this, that it must have been hard not to have a smile on your face when you were playing this music. I think it's that kind of music where it is so uplifting to play. I mean, even even when it's at its hardest, you still get a definitely that sort of uh, that smile factor. And uh, I think Ian Ballamy, as we were rehearsing, certainly some of the Hermeto tunes um, said to me, he said, it's a privilege to play every note of this music. Mm. Uh, Hermeto Pascual, so what is it about him then? I mean, what's it about his, uh, I, I think about his writing in particular that you think jazz artists pick up on and that has inspired you for so many years? Yeah, well, I think firstly to say the way his music works, certainly anyway, the, the aspect of, of soloing, you know, which is so central to jazz, is probably just another flavour in his music rather than being the sort of the whole, mm. you know, reason for being there. But I, for me personally, it's that mix between a very primitive kind of earthy kind of groovy thing going on which obviously comes from brazilian music or you know m music from the northeast of brazil in particular it's that kind of feeling which is at the heart of the music but with these quite sort of crazy concepts on top which which is a, a very um seductive mix for me yeah you, you there's a quote on the um the, the sleeve notes to the album where you say that you've been a fan of hermeto for 25 years and uh, in in a way a small part of uh, his spirit has permeated all all of my work to date that's quite a big claim I mean, in what in what way do you think that's worked um well it's very hard to analyze any kind of influence isn't it but uh, i i i think the the important word there for me is spirit you know um you know, as you know, I'm involved in a lot of different kinds of music making, but there's definitely something of that very earthy spirit um, in music that's at the heart of my music, and I, I've certainly been influenced by him in that respect. And uh, more consciously on this project, obviously, and, and is there anything specific that you took into the, to the writing of your own pieces that sit alongside uh, his, both in, on the album and in the concert? Um, yeah, I think I, I think I tried to react to his music in, in two ways specifically. And one way is just a general, again, a kind of spirit approach to the music where I used my own melodic language, which I guess has a much more European, British sensibility to it. So there are there are some very melodic pieces that maybe relate to pieces of his like Santa Catarina and some of some of those great melodic pieces of of his. And also, you know, the sort of spikier rhythmic aspect that I've taken um, in some, you know, a lot of my pieces have, have both that rhythmic approach and also uh, he has a way of sort of writing very much in sections and mm. the, section, the sections loop around. And I don't know whether this is conscious or uh, subconscious, but I've certainly, I've certainly used that myself a lot over the years. Now, a word about uh, Maria Pia De Vito, a vocalist that uh, you've worked with a lot, an Italian vocalist, but I have to say at times here she does, you know, a, a great in, a sort of impression is the wrong word, but I'll use it anyway, strong impression of, of a Brazilian vocalist. She sounds quite a lot like Flora Purim at, at moments here. Yeah, well, again, Maria's, uh, you know, a very interesting musician, uh, very broad in her background and in her approach. She's as happy improvising in, in whatever context as she is singing great songs, you know. So in, for instance, in, in when we worked as a duo, the initial starting point was my tunes, um, which she wrote lyrics in Neapolitan, because that's her first language, well, first musical language. Mm. Um, and very, you know, as we moved looking at other material, we, we both found this love of Brazilian music. So in fact, on the duo CD I have with her, there's a tune by Hermeto, and we have some plans uh, with a project of hers to work with Brazilian music, linking uh, Napoli and Bahia and different things. So I, in a way, I think we're all quite kindred spirits on this project. And uh, I, I know this was a one-off uh, gig that we were lucky enough to record, but you have plans to uh, tour the album when it's released in, in the autumn, but just, just with the trio on the album, right? 
that, that that's the plan at the moment. We have some uh, we have some gigs when the album's released in the autumn. Hopefully there'll be there'll be not only um, some more concerts with this particular lineup with Maria and Ian because I think we were all pleasantly surprised by how well it worked, but uh, also some other possible lineups with other other guests playing the same material. Okay, well, Hugh, thank you for uh, joining me. Uh, I really enjoyed the gig, and um, I can recommend the CD as as well, which I believe is not not quite out yet. I have a copy of it here, but it's going to be out in the autumn. It's called uh, Hermeto Plus, and uh, features Martin France, but uh, on bass on on the uh, trio album is Peter Herbert. Uh, Hugh, thank you. And we're we're going to go to the second half of the gig now. Just tell us a little bit about the first tune we're going to hear. This this is something that I guess sort of tries to fuse your your Welsh and Brazilian influences. This is Cowboys and Shepherds. Yeah, this this piece definitely is influenced rhythmically by Hermeto, um, but it also has a kind of Welsh idea running through it in the title and in the music. Thanks very much. Here we are, Cowboys and Shepherds. Thanks, you. Pleasure. Thank you very much. We're going to go to the second half of the gig now. Just tell us a little bit about the first tune we're going to hear. This this is something that I guess sort of tries to fuse your your Welsh and Brazilian influences. This is Cowboys and Shepherds. Yeah, this this piece definitely is influenced rhythmically by Hermeto, um, but it also has a kind of Welsh idea running through it in the title and in the music. Thanks very much. Here we are, Cowboys and Shepherds. Thanks, Hugh. Pleasure. Thank you very much. Thank you. 
Ralena, Kulumare, Lena, Cena, Nena, Cato, Bombasa, Amor, Amor, Vena, La Truva, Alara, Lina, Kulumare, Lena, Cesta, Nena, Cato,
Don't, don't, don't. 